Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Trump executive order will not delay basic med. Fully integrated EFIS Healy SAS demonstrator to be debuted at Healy Expo 2017. And EAA Seaplane Pilots Association announces joint effort. Hello, I'm Christopher C. Odom. It's February 7th, 2017, and this is Airborne Unlimited. Questions are being answered following an analysis of President Trump's executive order to hold pending and new regulations for a 60-day review. Industry analysis tends to indicate that the freeze does not apply to basic med, which provides a long-anticipated alternative to medical certification. The executive order is a standard operating procedure for new administrations. The order exempts any regulation subject to statutory or judicial deadlines. The FAA had a statutory deadline of early January 2017 to publish the third class medical reform final rule in the Federal Register. That limit was set in the legislation signed into law last summer. Pilots should note that they cannot operate under the basic med until the new rules take effect on May 1st and that they must first meet certain requirements to fly under basic med. Pilots who have held a regular medical certificate or special issuance anytime on or after July 15th, 2006, whose most recent medical was not suspended, revoked, or withdrawn, can fly under basic med by getting a physical exam by a state licensed physician in accordance with a checklist that will be filled out by the pilot and the physician, and then completing the online aeromedical course. Pilots should take those steps in that order because the exam information will need to be transmitted upon successful completion of the aeromedical course. Genesis Aerosystems unveils its new state-of-the-art helicopter cockpit demonstrator at their booth during the upcoming HAI Hilo Expo convention in Dallas. Our goal with the Cockpit Systems Demonstrator is to enable our customers and prospective customers to experience all of the advanced operational and safety capabilities that the Genesis Aero Systems Cockpit Displays and Healy SAS Stability Augmentation System bring to today's helicopters, stated the company's Director of Sales and Marketing, Jamie Luster. With the flip of a switch, we can demonstrate all the functionality of our integrated four display IDU EFIS ECAS system, including our innovative highway in the sky, flight planning, audio radio integration, hover vector and example engine display options, explained Dirk H. Tierveer, senior applications engineer for Genesis Aero Systems. It's a very immersive demonstration that allows the number of OEMs that have selected our ethos and are also attending Healy Expo to demonstrate the system and close sales at the show. While it's not a real simulator, the cockpit demonstrator provides a platform for pilots and engineers to experience the true dynamic behavior of all of our systems working together. Genesis Aero Systems field test engineer, test pilot, Chad Howard said, the Healy SAS servos are fully coupled to controls so you can feel what the system is doing throughout all phases of the flight. It's one thing to talk about it, but another when you can put the aircraft in an unusual attitude and simply press a button and watch the Healy SAS return it to a normal attitude. He added, the demonstrator doesn't move, but it sure looks and feels like it does. The Genesis Aero Systems Cockpit Demonstrator is equipped with all of the company's latest equipment. After the break, EAA and SPA join forces. Based on the popular Sling 2 LSA, the Sling 4 was designed to be the most practical and desirable lightweight four-place experimental aircraft on the market. Find out more about this 115 horsepower turbocharged airplane at airplanefactory.com. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. 
Explore no limits flying in the FAA certified Sea Ray Amphibious LSA. One of the top three best selling LSAs in the U.S., Progressive Aerodyne Sea Ray comes equipped with a Rotax engine and exhibits extraordinary handling on land, water, and in the air. Check it out at www.searay.com. Welcome back. If you have a story suggestion for Airborne Unlimited Aerial TV, the new AMA Drone Report, or our website or podcast, just email to news-spy at earl-news.net. The EAA and Seaplane Pilots Association have announced a memorandum of understanding that expands the organization's joint efforts to bring the possibilities of flight to more people. Jack J. Pelton, EAA Chairman and CEO, said that this memo of understanding sets the stage of the next step of cooperation between our associations as we must work together to sustain and grow interest in all forms of aviation. The memo of understanding also outlines specific areas where EAA and SPA will work together. That includes support of mutual membership goals, collaborating on advocacy issues, and joint opportunities to promote both organizations to the public. It also encompasses EAA's continued support of seaplane base operations during the EAA Air Venture Oshkosh flying. Stephen McCauley, SBA Executive Director, noted that the SPA and its members are excited to explore a closer relationship with EAA and begin work on how both organizations will, in a mutual way, promote and increase aviation participation across all age groups. We share so many fundamental principles that working together will benefit all of our members in recreational aviation overall. EAA and SBA will create a joint working group to explore possibilities for joint activities and programs that could inspire youth and adults to get involved in flying, especially seaplane flying. The agreement also provides for increased visibility of each organization in the other's outreach and communications channels. Every Tuesday, we look ahead at some of the more interesting events in the aviation universe. Here's this week's Aero Calendar. If you want to get up close and personal with a B-17 Flying Fortress, here's your chance. The EAA B-17 will be at the Deer Valley Airport for three days, February 10th through February 12th, 2017, for mission flight experiences and ground tours. Aluminum Overcast will be flying for three days out of Cutter Aviation in Phoenix, Arizona. Opportunities are available to take an actual flight on one of the few remaining P-17 still flying. Take our word for it. It's an experience you'll never forget. If you're willing to do what you need to do to stay warm, you might want to check out the 7th Annual Bowman Ski Plane Flying in Livermore Falls, Maine this Saturday, February 11th. Come join the Bowman Field Flying Club for their annual ski plane flying. This event is a potluck put on by the club members, so come and taste their assortment of chilies, chowders, desserts, and homemade goodies. You can join them from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. for some good old airport camaraderie at Bowman Field, Livermore Falls, Maine. And finally, don't forget that the AMA Expo held in California in January is now being duplicated on the East Coast with what the Academy of Model Aeronautics calls the AMA Expo East. It all takes place starting on February 24th and runs through February 26th at the Meadowlands Exposition Center in Secaucus, New Jersey. It touches every aspect of model aviation from rocketry to RC airplanes to drones. The AMA is all about model aircraft fun and they toss in a good dose of education and the promotion of STEM activities as well. After these messages, Boeing isn't happy with South Carolina union possibilities. Redbird Flight Simulations is dedicated to revolutionizing flight training by designing, manufacturing, and delivering affordable and innovative flight training technologies. Each Redbird device is designed to enhance the training experience for pilots of all levels, from student to ATP. Redbird is quickly becoming the industry standard for flight training. Since Redbird introduced its revolutionary FMX in 2007, colleges, universities, and flight training operations around the world have integrated Redbird products into their curriculum. It's time to discover what Redbird can do for you. Join the migration. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. 
With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing a few of those other great stories in a brief segment we call Around the Thatch. Boeing management is fighting hard to keep its workers in South Carolina from voting to join the International Association of Machinists. Boeing released a video recently where the villains in the video are machinists wielding picket signs. On Tuesday, tables and break rooms in South Carolina were piled high with kids' clothes, diapers, and groceries. The message from management was that each pile cost about $800, the amount that each employee would pay every year to belong to the union. Florida's budget for fiscal year 2017 through 18 includes millions for improvements to launch complexes in the state to help attract more commercial activity to the area. Space Florida confirmed that one of the line items in the budget recommends $17 million from the Florida DOT to prepare Launch Complex 36 for use by Blue Origin. The complex is owned by the state, and the last time it saw a rocket on the pad was 2005. Aviation SATCOM provider AirSat1 has announced lower rates for its swift broadband connectivity. When partner Inmarsat lowered its prices, AirSat1 was quick to pass on the savings to its customers. AirSat One's worldwide swift broadband price reduction is especially significant because airtime charges for the domestic US only GoGo system are on the rise. Catherine Cathy Morgan has assumed her new role as president of the ASTM International, one of the world's largest standards development organizations. Morgan will lead a team that supports thousands of members, customers, partners, and other stakeholders worldwide. She succeeds James A. Thomas, who served in the role for 25 years. A bill that would have expanded the regulation of drones in the state of Utah has been grounded by the State Senate Transportation Public Utilities Energy and Technology Committee. The bill, SB 111, would revise the state's drone laws to cover such crimes as stalking, spying, voyeurism, and other invasions of privacy. It would also put more restrictions on data collection using drones by law enforcement and civilian operators. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Now, let's get back to the rest of the news. Unique International has unveiled a commercial UAV offering, the H520, an advanced six-rotor drone for commercial applications. The H520 builds off Unique six-rotor platform and incorporates industry-first commercial-grade cameras and applications for high-end commercial use. Unique claims that the H520 offers longer flight time, greater payload, modular design, and enhanced components. The H520 features a high visibility hazard orange fuselage and a six rotor design capable of emergency flight with only five rotors. A 306 degree three axis gimbal coupled with retractable landing gear provides an unobstructed view from any angle. The camera and gimbal are capable of a 20 degree up angle for upward looking inspections. Three camera options include the CGO ET Dual Thermal RGB Camera, CGO CI 7 Element Inspection Ready Camera, and CGO 3 Plus. Additional upgrades to the H520 camera options include a panoramic shooting function along with burst, time lapse, and metering modes. Utian Group CIO and CEO of Unique Technology Company Limited said that Pilots can fly with confidence, knowing they have an array of camera options for a variety of situations and industry-leading safety features, including intelligent obstacle navigation with Intel RealSense technology. The H520 comes with the professional-grade Android-based ST16 controller, which has a large 7-inch integrated display and HD 720p video downlink for real-time video reception and an HDMI uplink for distribution to external monitors. Unique will launch a software developer kit platform in the second quarter of 2017. The H520 maintains safety features such as geofencing, variable speed control, dynamic return home, and low battery return home. The H520 will be available the second quarter of 2017 and will be offered in a variety of configurations of prices ranging from $2,499 to $4,499. 
Well, that's our program for today. Remember that Airborne Unlimited stream daily, Monday through Friday, with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe. And do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest in aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aerodashnews.net. Keep flying. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>